How many times do I get women on my show that they're working, they love, they like what they do, their career is somewhat fulfilling, but as soon as they get married and I ask, do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant with the first child? Almost 100% of women say no. Understand something. What the men are saying at this point is, then why the hell are you going to college? To these expensive schools, racking up all this student loan debt to do a job or a career that you want to quit when you get married and get pregnant. To men, we are looking at you and you know how many men I know who have turned women down because they are economically unattractive. Ladies, hear me and hear me well going on guys and welcome back to the channel today we are going to be reacting to another kevin samuels video before we get into it make sure you guys like and subscribe hello i put Hi. you in the waiting room till i come back hello how are you hello. i'm doing well how are you good how old are you i'm 27 all right so what do you got for me on the topic i uh, am i allowed to ask questions or can you repeat the question that you had asked how or why black women are losing. Yeah, why black I don't know, bro. I got another video for y'all. Had to bring y'all back some of that Kevin Samuel the Godfather. You feel me? I got my uniform on because I got to go to an appointment. I wanted to hurry up and finish the video first before I go to this appointment because I got a busy day. But, you know, I'm trying to stay consistent every day with my uploads. Let's get into the video, man. Women losing high value black men to white women. That's pretty much because I can say non black women, but. Really, it's white women that y'all have the most issue with. When I mean, you should have most issue with Hispanic women, they're closest. That are, you're actually your most vigorous competition. Yeah, but what, what city do you live in? San Diego. So San Diego, I'm, have you been around as long as, have you been around the United States for longer than five years? You've heard that when black men get successful, they go get white women. Yes, I heard that from Kanye. Uh-huh, so that's that seems to be black women's biggest fear, so why? Why are black women losing their black, losing their high value black men to white women? That's I a good question. Maybe it's because people are, or black men are open. It's not as stigmatized, honestly. A lot of black people are getting outside open? of their race. That's open? Is that what you're saying? What you mean by that black men are open? That only makes sense. Black men are open. Y'all tell me in the comments what you mean, black men are open. What? That makes sense. I think that they're open. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not as stigmatized and But well why are why I, I, yeah, I get that the black men are open and uh -huh. I get the opportunity exists, but the question is why are black women losing? Cause you could be open. Okay. Do you see high value? white men being lost to black women? No. I don't, I'm not sure. I need a few examples. Um, no. As far open as- your, Open your eyes and think of high value white men and show me where they're losing, where white women are losing their high value white men to black women. Where? Um, what is, what about Serena Williams? Is her husband like the CEO of Reddit or something he, like that? She makes, he, she has 200 million, he has 10. Okay. So that doesn't count. No. Absolutely. Okay, that's, an, you... that's an extreme example. <laughs> that is, that's pretty extreme. Um, you're 27 play. years old. Did you go to college? Yes. You work in corporate America? Yes. You have C-suite employees in your organization. Mm -hmm. Why do y'all go all the way to Serena Williams? Because the answer is white women don't lose their high value white men to Absolutely black women. Absolutely not. That's the answer. Just say you don't. You got to find Serena. Yeah. If you got to use an example like that, that shows you the issue. That shows you there is a problem. Instead of just saying, that's not what happens. Okay, well, can you help me with a few examples of 
Hey, stop. Of high value men being lost or black women losing high value black men to non black women because the Kardashians. Like, so does that include like Tristan Thompson and Travis Scott in them? Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Okay. We I see really this all the time, bro. We're asking, give you an example. When this you don't have to give an example for that because, bro, like this is so prominent. Like, come on now, come on now, bro. When rich men, a lot of these rich men, Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, uh, 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 Kanye West. Uh, I mean, we can we can go on and on and on and on. Come on, bro. Popular trope in our culture. Why am I having to give you examples? Of look across the this is when I will allow hey, you to look at sports, entertainment, and athletics. You said you heard it from Kanye. I mean, why are you asking me to give you some examples when you know this happens? Yeah, seriously, right? Like we, we know this happens. But I don't know. Maybe she's trying to be facetious. Or, or maybe she's trying, just to, get trying to get famous. some type of agreement. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man, but this is weird already. This is going down a very strange path. Because I wasn't sure if, because um, like Khloe Kardashian was having a baby in her. Okay, did you watch cheating? the movie Waiting to Exhale? Yes, I did okay. that. Angela okay. Davis's, Angela, Angela uh, Bassett's character. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Who'd she lose her husband? Who'd she lose her husband to? I think to a white woman. I didn't know if that counted because that was a movie. So mm. in like in real life, that's what I was like. I'm really just trying to understand because I don't know what the high value man. What's your ultimate? Why? Okay, I, I'm not trying to be rude, but why are you asking this question? What is the what is it you want to know? Because me trying to tell you give you examples why it happens well because in order for me to answer i just needed a little bit more context because i really thought that it was because men black men are open that's not the because they're open it's not because being. it's not just because they're open they're open and why aren't black women in those spots see what you're saying is black men are open to dating interracially uh so White men aren't open to dating interracially. Hispanic men aren't open to dating interracially. Asian men aren't open to dating interracially. Middle Eastern men are not open to dating interracially. They are. Thank you. So it doesn't matter if you're open, but are the women of those races or, or races or ethnic groups competitive for their specific high value men? Are I white see. women competitive? Are, are white women competitive for high value white men? I believe so. I, I are I Asian they, women competitive yes. for high value Asian men? You're asking if women will compete. Are with each Asian other? women competitive for high value Asian men? Yes. Are Hispanic women competitive for high high value Hispanic men? Yes. Are Middle Eastern women competitive for high value Middle Eastern men? That's where I start to get a little confused just because those uh, relationships uh, are arranged. Uh, stop making this so freaking complicated. She's doing this on purpose. Ain't no way. She understands she what's, what's going, going on here. She understands the context. Our middle... <clears throat> our, if, if the other groups are the same way, why would I give you an example that Middle Eastern women, are they or are they not? Do you see Middle Eastern high value men marrying non-Middle Eastern women as the norm? Do you see them marrying out? No. All right, so we get to the last group. Are high value black, are high value or black women competitive for high value black men? In a lot of the situations I've seen, yes, but they're not famous people. They're just like people like my friends and their parents are successfully happily married and things like that. And mm -hmm. I don't know if they married all right, yet. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Name me the 
white song talking about when they leave, put when they get on leave your ass for a black man name me the white hispanic asian or middle eastern equivalent to kanye's song and lyrics about leaving for a white woman from name another your, race i don't I don't know. So that. why are we doing this? That's a good point. Just because your little anecdote, no offense, your anecdotal life doesn't fit. Uh-huh. You act like this does not exist and it's not a popular trope throughout our culture. And I'm, I'm trying my best to be patient because I think you're coming on here playing intentionally dumb. Well, when was... everybody in the comment section and chat room knows what we're talking about and you came on saying I heard it from Kanye. Let's talk about our popular culture, not your anecdotal life. Okay, so if it's related to what you were saying earlier in the video that um, that women aren't, or yeah, she she know what he's talking about. She's just trying to act oblivious, I guess, to keep the conversation going. Women won't bring like cakes and pies and. Um, kind of do these things for black men competing in that way, then I I could say that that is true. And if that's in that's important, that's valuable to men. Do you know that, any high you know any high value bl- single black men? No, I I know many from other races. Uh-huh. Do you date black men? Sometimes then why are you even here? What do you... What's your dog in this fight? Because I'm asking you, I'm right. asking you, you know, high value black men. Yes, you, I do. So you know, I, you know, when I ask you if you know high value black men, and instead of saying yes or no, you said I know some from other races, which is non freaking sponsored. I said I do know some... From other races. You said from other races. I do know some high value black men and I know high value men from other races. Okay, let's retract let's retract. I asked you, do you know how do you know any high value single black men? And you said I know them from other races. Non re freaking sponsored. I know some high value black men. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? My apologies. I thought that I said I know some. You said y'all know some from other races. Okay, I know. All right, and then I ask you, do you do you you date high value black men or do you date black men? Mm -hmm. And you said sometimes. Yes. Then I, so what I'm hearing is a woman who doesn't know single high value black men. So you would not be familiar with what these men say about what they run into on the open dating market. Then I'm asking you if you date them. And you say sometimes. sometimes, meaning sometimes you date what? Sometimes I date black men, sometimes I date non-black men. Which is why I'm asking you, if I'm talking about black women and dealing with black men, and I'm talking to a woman who doesn't date black men primarily. Okay, this is going nowhere. Just being a bobblehead at this point. Yeah, I, she was rightfully on now. I mean, did I miss something here, people? Mm-mm. No, <laughs> no, you didn't. She's did I miss something here? Lost. I mean, somebody. Am I being overly dramatic here? Because I felt like she was just being intentionally fucking obtuse. Just sitting here. I don't know what is a high value black man. I don't. Can you give me some examples of what it means? You put your fucking face yeah, on. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, tell me what y'all think about that video in the comments, bro. She was definitely acting oblivious, man. But hey, be safe out there, King. See you guys next video. Let's get it.